The ACR. The gun that was supposed to set the world on fire with a low MSRP, an amazing slew of features, and more caliber conversions and support than the end user could imagine. Enter the bean counters and suddenly the gun that was supposed to be a new industry standard simply fizzled. It isn't that the ACR is a bad gun, it's that it was released with a much higher price than expected, a 1 in 9 twist barrel, no factory support, and it seems like the manufacturer itself just kind of forgot about it. Broken promises are represented here, and that's a shame because with further development, care, and attention, it could have been a real competitor. But let's look at a few of the gun's features. First of all, the gun has a very nice and slim profile. It actually feels very ergonomic in the hands, and I've never had any complaints about the rifle in that regard. Everything from the length of pull, which is adjustable, up to the way the handguard feels is very comfortable. The stock is also this gun's greatest legacy. There's all kinds of adapters that allow you to run an ACR stock on other rifles. And of course it has a built-in cheek riser for use with an optic. The stock is also very rigid but lacks a latch to keep it closed in the folded position. The selector is ambidextrous, which is nice for lefties. Continuing on with its streak of ambidexterity, the magazine release is also ambidextrous and can be actuated from the left or the right side of the gun. I've never found this to be a big selling point, but I'm also a right-hander. The charging handle is of a non-reciprocating design, but can also be used as a forward assist. This was very well thought out, and of course it can also be switched to the other side of the gun if you prefer a right side charging handle. One feature about the ACR that I absolutely love is the bolt catch slash bolt release. It's located within the trigger guard and can be actuated by the trigger finger to send the bolt home with a fresh magazine inserted. This is also present on the Robinson XCR rifle. The gun comes with Magpul Imbus sights, which aren't the best in my opinion, but they're perfectly adequate. The gun also has a gas plug like an FNFAL with a setting for suppressed and unsuppressed. Now the coolest feature of the gun was the ability to change the barrel quickly for caliber conversions, but those never materialized unfortunately. And of course the pistol grip has a storage compartment for batteries. There are also quick detach sling swivels as well as one located where you would have one on the buffer plate of an AR-15. But enough talk, let's shoot. Suppressed 223 rounds generally disappoint people who hear them for the first time. They still break the sound barrier and are very loud. As mentioned, the stock can be folded, but there is no latch mechanism like there is on the FN SCAR. Really, there's just a little bit of tension that holds it in place, but it can be fired with the stock folded, which is good for vehicle crewmen and things like that. The ACR is a handy rifle that's very easy to manipulate. Here I do a few double taps while swinging the rifle up and clicking it onto fire onto an IDPA silhouette. And while not as handy as the CZ805 Brin I did last week, it is perfectly adequate for this. And I do believe that with some refinement it would be a more serious F and SCAR competitor. So the saga of the ACR is a tragic one. It's an example of a gun that was well engineered on paper, but is something of a rarity because the bean counters won. This is a platform that could grow into something spectacular if it were given more attention by its manufacturer, 
but it's been about seven years since the guns were released and it still hasn't happened. Shame too, because they're fun to shoot, and if you're looking for one, they turn up on used firearm auctions via proxy bid all the time, and there are certainly deals to be had on them due to people tired of waiting for the promised caliber conversion kits. Special thank you to Ventura Munitions as always, and a special thank you for watching. We hope to see you next time.